Like, when they made this, did they really think this was a good idea? They're like, yeah, let's call it a meaty vegan snack. I guess if you're vegan, this is probably like, oh yeah, this is meat. I haven't had meat in six years, this is delicious. Hey Healthy Girls, welcome back to Adam Immune, the channel about helping you improve your health naturally. And I want to show you a review today of something that Wild Zora sent me. Uh, she wanted me to review these Ita new Italian beef meat bars, meat and veggie bars. Um, they've actually got a little bit of fruit in them as well. It's always the best quality with Wild Zora, which I really appreciate. I have had some of their stuff before and I really, really like them. So let's try out this new Italian beef, but I want to compare it to like other things. Like, I don't like to just try one thing. Um, I found this weird coconut jerky in, I think this was Trader Joe's for a few bucks. Uh, it's 100% plant-based and I just wanted to see what it's like compared to regular jerky. I know this isn't jerky, this is a meat bar, but I think it'll be somewhat comparative. Um, I just thought this was weird because it's going to be like ginger teriyaki. I don't know, I thought that would be interesting. I mean, it's supposed to taste like meat, but I don't know, I'll be the judge of that. And then I want to show you something that's actually meaty. This is like my favorite jerky, um, like regular jerky, right? This is Epic Bites. It's got venison and beef in there. Let's go ahead and try these bars and then we'll see how those jerkies are. Smells, wow, smells good. Italian. That's amazing. Almost tastes like a pizza. Man, I love that. That is perfect. Really gonna highly recommend these. Uh, definitely go check these out. If you need like a snack, this is probably gonna be like the perfect thing. I mean, that's just crazy. Their meat bars are crazy good. All right, so I don't think I'm gonna like this one, but I don't know. It's called, the brand is For Real Foods. For Real Foods, I mean, you're making fake, fake meat jerky, but you're calling it for real foods. I get it. This is like a vegan thing. And I'm not here to hate on vegan today. If that's your thing, that's cool, whatever. Oh, it doesn't smell that good, actually. And it it looks kind of gross. Oh, uh, well, you can't see that. I mean... All right. I mean, it does smell like... I mean, there, I think there's like coconut aminos. Yeah, young coconut meat... Coconut cider vinegar, coconut aminos, ginger, coconut nectar, and garlic salt. And with those ingredients, you would think, oh, this isn't keto for sure, right? But um, if you just eat a serving, then it is, apparently. Um, in fact, yeah, it says paleo and keto on the actual bag. So uh, that's what originally like caught my attention. I'm like, well, paleo and keto fake jerky? Uh, but I do like coconut, so, and this is basically like... Coconut meat is made from coconut, coconut cider vinegar, coconut meals, and then coconut nectar. So there's like four things made from coconut in there with a little bit of ginger, garlic, and salt. So I appreciate the ingredients are, I mean, the ingredients are sound, right? I mean, it sounds like it's going to be good. Let me show you guys. Like, they're just like, it looks kind of like beef tongue. Let me just try this. Well... Let me just say it right away. It tastes nothing like beef jerky. Is this supposed to taste like beef jerky? A meaty vegan snack. Used from upcycled coconut. That's appetizing. It doesn't taste like beef jerky. It's not chewy. It's not really crunchy either, but it kind of just tastes like old coconut. The texture really isn't all that pleasant. It really just tastes like you're eating dry fruit that's not sweet at all. Does that make sense? Yeah, like if I don't think of it as a like a meat snack, it's not terrible. I just, you know, I love ginger. I just don't think ginger belongs to this at all. Needs more salt? Okay, well, I'm not gonna eat any more of that. It's kind of gross, actually. It smells bad. Okay, so I am going to let Vanessa try these. Oh, she says it smells gross, but uh, here, baby. Uh, I'm just gonna let you. Yes, you're you're multitasking. Okay. Okay, coconut jerky and test. Go ahead. I think I'm on 75 and a 65. Oh, well, slow it down a little bit. It's supposed to be convenient. So this is your vegan meaty jerky. <laughs> Yum. It looks like a pork ear. It does look like a pork rind, yeah. So it doesn't look like jerky off the bat. What is this? It's made from coconut. 
Does it have ginger? Oh my gosh. Oh, yes, it does have ginger in it now I think about it. Okay. That's gross. So, inedible? Oh, for me, yes. Okay. Okay, baby. I'm sorry. Don't don't throw up. Don't throw up. Okay, here here is the Wild Zora new meat and veggie bar. <laughs> With fruit. <laughs> That's so soft. You don't want to throw up. What? This one's good. <laughs> no. You're gonna like this one. Did you wanna try this with this? Is it from the first one? No. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Okay. <laughs> we are pulling over. So, I don't think Vanessa will be recommending these snacks anytime soon. That's gross. Let me know what jerky you guys like in the comments below. Yeah, this is good. Peppery. Mmm. Love it. 100% grass-fed venison. That's what you want. But, I'll tell you what, these wild zoras taste better. By like a lot. And they have a really soft texture. Well, appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed, drop a like, smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you next time.